Hey, it's JC1424 once again with Gran Turismo 4! And in this episode of our GT Mode playthrough, part 39, we're going to be doing some more One Make Races. And in this episode, we're going to go at the Isuzu Sports Classics, which you can find in Japan, the bottom left of the page. Originally, I thought there were only two Isuzu cars in the game. If you look at Classics, there's these two, and they're not for sale. Let me believe I wouldn't be able to do this until they gifted one of them to me. You got this with the blue, red, banana yellow, magnolia wide, and this chrome ass silver that is so gorgeous. And I hope they give me this car in this color. I don't know which one I'm getting, but I hope that it's not this one because this is a butt fucking ugly car. I, I don't like it. They're both the same horsepower, so they're essentially the same car. Except that one comes in 69. That is the ugliest 69 ever. Let's go to One Make Races and see how we're going to do this. There is one other Isuzu car in this game. The, the Pizza XE. Gotta love pizza. Um, the, the Piazza XE is a better car. <laughs> it comes with more horsepower, and it's newer. Unfortunately, the one that there is in the historic showroom that we're gonna go take a look at doesn't come in the best color option, but it's there, and we need to buy it, use it, and then get rid of it. It comes with more horsepower, yeah, 133 horsepower, and we're gonna be paying 8,600 credits on this, as well getting the oil changed. And you know that horsepower rate is going to go up whenever we get the oil change, so we're going to blow them out of the water. Um, they might have a few of these in there whenever we go do this, though. I know this event is only three races long, so enjoy me drinking water while they change my oil. H2O. Even more H2O. H2O. Oh, shit. Good. Thank you. You know I had to do that because I need to get that video link, the ad revenue, that money. Speaking of money, how much are they paying in this in this one? Um, it's 2,000. So, that's three races. 6,000. I hate when this game does this shit. But I'm going to sell this car anyway because they're going to give us one that's more admirable that we could use for special condition events and I don't even like this damn thing. But our first race is Sukuba Circuit. Three laps. Okay, it's Piazza time. And then there's another Piazza starting in third in like a medium blue color. Nice to know I could have gotten in that color, instead I only wound up with this boring gray. There's three Isuzu Billettes. I don't like that car. But there's one 117 coupe in there, so there's that. Um, I don't know if like, there's a possibility like which one might just be better than the other, because the Billette is smaller and has the same amount of horsepower. That doesn't like necessarily determine like if it's got the same weight and all that shit or what. So, get driving. It's raining outside quite a bit. It's supposed to rain all freaking day, but I'm still recording this. Now, we just got finished racing in this track for four hours, or at least I did. You, on the other hand, 14 minutes, and not even that because, you know, there's the introduction, outro, and blah, 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 blah. I gave that uh, RX-7 LM race car that they gave us at the end of the last episode, gave it a test drive. A little Gatorade race car, that's what we'll call it, because it's dark green and orange, like the classic Gatorade logo. Already up to fourth place in this race. Nice to have a more equal race at Tsukuba, as opposed to the Mazda MX-5 Roadster 4-hour endurance we did last episode. I wish it could have been a little bit more like this, although in the end I still would have won it by several laps. And we won that last race by six laps. Now this guy's got the same car as me. I got oil change. Might have had a better shift than him. Yep, we're staying neck and neck. I like that. And watch me fly past him going to the corner because he doesn't take good corner. Yeah, he just smashed the freaking brakes. I had to slide up against him because he wanted to pin me down, but wasn't having it. But, um, because it's going to be pouring down rain so freaking hard, I can do the noise reduction. You'll still hear it here and there, but whenever it's in the gameplay, I don't know if it'll be that noticeable. But it's definitely something that you can hear in the background whenever there's nothing really going on. So it's a three-lap race. 
We should have the lead by the end of this lap. They're both right there in front of us. You can go to the outside right here. See if I can make it happen up here. Oh, front end tight. No, we closed the gap, but we didn't make the pass. Now we're going. That's the color I want this car in. I can't shift up because I'm too busy focusing on the fact that this dickhead is trying to kill me. Like they all do. Oh. Oh. Why you do this to me? Alright. So, the, the 117 coupe started in, in second. And he's still second. The Billette is still in the lead. So, they're not exactly capable of passing each other or racing each other worth the crap. You got me with my like extra 17 horsepower or whatever. Beat him in the straightaway. And then he tries to run me in the grass, because they all do. Oh my goodness. And these cars, um, not as good as the Mazda MX-5 Miatas. We've got a 1 minute 15 second lap time. Although we had traffic, I don't think I could ever come near that 1 minute 8 second lap time that I got with my Miata last episode. Okay, let's finish this one off. Honestly, I wish this was a championship, and I could do that thing where I don't run all the races, I accept the prize car, and I could run one or two of the races with the prize car instead, because, oh my god, this is such a stupid car. And there's nothing wrong with this car. It's, it's a regular car. It's, it's just gray, boring-ass, no-one's-favorite-car-ever car. Ever car. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, let's get to Fuji Speedway 80s, a track that is all about speed, speed, maybe a, a pinch of cornering. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. A little more even and colorful. We got two 117 coupes, two Bellettes, and then two Piazzas, you know, one of them being mine. Get this yellow, white, orange, red, silver. That's a 57 A spec point race. So is that them declaring that the 117 is not as good? Huh. I, I wouldn't have guessed. Or maybe it's just the track. Maybe that's them realizing that this track is, you know, more straights and less short track cornering stuff like Scoop was. I can't go straight. Me talk about straights and over here turning in the straight. Because it's like I can't get the car to, to not turn left without turning right. Uh Go to the first corner, and I'm just trying not to get crashed into this yellow one. That is a beautiful shade of yellow. I wouldn't mind getting that car in that color as well. Because, I mean, I've had like these fluorescent yellows, dandelion yellows, the golden yellows. But that right there, that's, it's it's such like a, a creamy yellow. Why, why y'all do this? What took you so long to realize and you lose your shit? Like, oh my god, there's a car next to me. Jeez, dude. Freaking Gran Turismo AI, I, I don't understand. Usually they just keep running off the track even after you're already pulling ahead of them. In that case, it's like he just snapped. He just he couldn't do it anymore. I broke the AI. Oh my gosh, the front end grip. Again, it's got to happen in one of these corners. So, I'm going to finish this lap, this race, and then skip to the ending because now it's a show. We're freaking pulling away. It's honestly more likely me taking the corners than it is the car's slight edge on horsepower. We saw that I was barely pulling past the other guy towards the end of the back straight at Tsukubo. And these guys are really just not that good at this track. But it also helped they had rolling starts at this track. This is one of those tracks that could really use a rolling start because they're just so freaking bad going to that one tight first corner. Another 2,000 credits? Too much damn shit in this game early on that's only paying 2,000 credits. Getting on my nerves. But our final race is at Trial Mountain Forward, which means we get to have another Trial Mountain thumbnail. I think we only have one. That was like Japanese 70s classic. Way, way at the beginning of the Let's Play. So that's what we're getting. I gotta jump the, the grass mound again on the final corner. Just like last race, we got two 117 Coupes and two Bellet 1600s and then two piazzas, including mine. Blue piazza, starting up front. That is the funnest shit to say in this entire Let's Play. Oh my gosh. Blue piazza. Blue piazza, blue piazza, blue piazza, blue piazza. Oh man, I'm having the time of my life. Don't stop me now. We got piazza time could have been the episode title. Blue piazza could have been the episode title. 
but I wind up just naming it what the event is called, which is Zuzu Sports Classics. I might think it like Zuzu Sports Festival or Sports Carnival, because all kinds of different event names in here. The Zuzu Classics Meeting or some shit. So many different ways to name this stuff. I'm already up to second place, because it was a dead stop start. You know, they ain't got the acceleration with that lack of horsepower. This guy ain't got the problem because it's the same car as me. I'm gonna, ow. I'm gonna send it in this corner right here. Let's not hit the pokey mountain wall stuff. I always figured that was crumpled up paper whenever I was a kid. I don't know why. It just looked like crumpled up paper to me. Let, let's not hit the crumpled up paper. Because as much as I love crumpling up construction paper and always have that, this is not the time for that. Ah, gotta miss these golden tunnels. There's, there's two of them. There's one, which is like the, the second turn on the track. And then there's that one right there in the middle of the track. And you go under the trees and the light shines through them. This is such an excellently designed track. And I kind of wonder if it's based off of something. I don't know where it might be located. But just the, the way the trees kind of like meet in the middle and stuff. It's awesome. It's like one of those New Orleans um, rural house avenues. Or not rural, urban. I can't remember what urban, the difference between rural and urban. I'm stupid. Oh, oh. Still that tight front end. Catch me in every race. Well, let's finish off this lap. They said put it in second gear. Put it in second gear. I over rev. I also overshoot the corner. So maybe I should slow down more. Dumb JC is dumb. So let's finish up this lap. And then I'm going to head back around the track. Now I'm going to make myself one nice floopsy whoopsy jump on that big old mound of green. Oh, 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 oh. I think I broke my spleen. Did I win? Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. There's our last 2,000. Drinking me some water. Hydrate! 117. 117. 117. Yes! Fuck yeah! It's orange! Okay! This car is garbage. It's only worth 2,000 credits because it's garbage! I have made no money in this episode. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks for watching this episode of our Gran Turismo 4 GT Mode playthrough. Part 40 will be coming out tomorrow. We're at 25.9% game completion, and this car in the garage is gorgeous. Beautiful scenes. Beautiful. Um, we're on day 500. Day 500, champ. Where are you at? He doesn't watch my channel. That's where he's at. See you next time. That's that, and episode over.